North Little Rock. Tell me what that girl looked like. Oh man, I loved her. I forget her name. Oh wait, I think it was Ruth. Okay. She was a heavy set, big old yellow gal, and had buck teeth. <laughs> it had a gap between the teeth, that's what it was. And she, she was like a honey color skin. And she had, uh, like, her hair was not really long. It was, How tall do you think she was? She was about five, seven. How much do you think she weighed? She weighed about close to, to 200, about 170. 100. Pretty, pretty big girl. Yeah. Right. Now, where did you meet her at? Okay, down in the crack house. I was, they were, her and about six other girls were sitting on the porch. There was something crack in there. I stopped to go in there. I seen the girls, that's why I stopped. We stayed together two days or more. I think about three days. We was going shoplifting. We went to Sears. We went to uh, Culver's, and that's where I got busted. Mm -hmm. They took me to jail, and she went and stayed in the car. And the manager of Kroger's, got, I guess he got tired of her laying up in his property in, in that car. He called the station where I was at in North, uh, North Arkansas to drop the charges. Mm -hmm. So he can come down and get this gal and car out of him. They cut me loose. So we, we was headed toward uh, with that place where Walmart's uh, an, an original store bent. I whipped off the road and back into that little woods. It was a cornfield back there. I pulled through it, and on the other side of the cornfield was a trash pile. I parked the car facing out where I could see anybody coming in. So I, I pulled her out of the car. She's too big for me to carry, carry her, so I just pulled out the car and laid on that trash that was left there. So was it like a corn stalk pile or was it? Yeah, a bunch of corn stalks. What could you see from there? Uh, I could see the highway mm -hmm. and uh, in the woods is that way. But it's right outside of Little Rock. I, I was about 10 miles from it. From North Little Rock, you think 10 miles? Yeah, it was about 10 miles. So. Okay. Las Vegas. Describe the Las Vegas victim. That was in 93. Okay. I bought a uh, Eldorado. What color Eldorado? It was a yellow. Okay. Oh, yellow Cadillac Eldorado. Yep. Yeah. Alright, what year? 78. Okay. Well, tell me about this girl. What does she look like? She was kind of thin, dark skin, about 40 years old when she was out there hustling. I think she was a drug addict because she wouldn't have been out there. How tall was she? She was about 5'5", five, 5'3". Five, five, and how she much do you think she weighed? She weighed about 110, 120. Okay. What about her did you know? The, the boy came, she, that was her son. And she called him over there. And he came over, hey, yeah, he shook my hand and everything. Yeah. Now how old was he? He was about 20 or about 19, 20. Okay, black male or? Black male. And where were you at when you met her? It was on Owens Avenue. Okay. Owen, that's down in the black section. Owens and Jackson. Where do you eventually take her, her body to? I was, I was headed toward California. Mm -hmm. So as I drove out of Las Vegas, I, didn't, I seen a motel and a road leading up to the motel. And I said, there's a lot of bushes and brushes us beside the road before you got to that motel. That's where I dropped, pulled up her body out and rolled it down there. And I heard a secondary roll of noise. That meant she was still rolling. So you basically roll her into a pretty big ditch that's got a bunch of... Well, it wasn't a ditch, it was a slope. Okay. That didn't look like a slope because the vegetation had grown up out of the right. slope and looked like you didn't know it was you, you would think that the road would just be flat, mm -hmm. but actually the road was going down mm -hmm. a slope like, and that's why she rolled. So this is a slope right off the road? Yeah. Okay. And tell me about how far do you think you were outside of Las Vegas? The road I was on was going towards Searchlight. Mm -hmm. 
So whatever the name of that road is, that's the road I was on. How far outside of Las Vegas do you think you were? Were you in Las Vegas? Or? About I was still in Las Vegas, yeah. Okay. But I was on the very outskirts. All right. The very outskirts. There was a couple of motels I remember, gas station and everything. It was scattered, da, 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 because it was getting thin population as you go further out. Mm -hmm. Tell me about Mary Ann. She's what you nowadays they call a transgender. She's a black male dressed up as a female. Okay, how tall is, is she? Mary Ann's about five, seven, seven, five, six. She weighed about 135, okay. one, maybe 140. And how old do you think she was? But she was 19. Okay. And where was she from? No, I'm Miami, down in Liberty City. Okay. And did she, um, you mentioned before she had a boyfriend or she talked about a boyfriend? Name Wes. Wes? Yeah, yeah. And, and tell me about where you met her at. So I've seen her down at the Guar on 17th Avenue. And she had on a short cream money skirt. <clears throat> cream and red. So then this opportunity popped up. Mm -hmm. Take her to the store. Right. Instead of me bringing her back to the apartment, I went down to 27th Street. That's going down to uh, Fort Lauderdale, mm -hmm. called the Gator, the Alligator Alley. It, it turns into, it runs into Alligator Alley. Right. But the further out you get, the further you get out of Miami. Right. And you, you got vegetation. Now, how far outside of Miami do you think you were? About, it wasn't too far out of Miami, right okay. there. I was in my stepdad's car, Pontiac Le Mans. Now, where did you take her to? Continue down 27. Mm -hmm. Got back on 27. Going outside of Miami. Okay. Miami. Going away from Miami. Going away from Miami. We okay. got down past the, uh, past the, let's say, limits. So I continued on. Toward for a lot of that. Okay. And I seen a road going off the main road back into the vegetation mm -hmm. on the left side. So I got her out of the car, pulled her out, and drug her into the growth back there. And pulled her deeper into the, there's a path, a little path was running somewhere. I don't know where it led it to, mm -hmm. but it was running deeper into the Undergrowth. Mm -hmm. it, it's like uh, Everglades, like that. And we ran into uh, uh, some water running. And, but before we got to the water, the earth was mushy. I turned her loose, and mm -hmm. she fell into it face down. And how far outside of Miami do you think you were? About a mile, two miles. Uh, what year did Mary Ann occur? Uh, 72. Okay, 1972. She was pretty, a light skinned, brown, honey colored skin. And she was about a five, she was about tall, she was tall for a woman. Mm -hmm. About five, eight, five, nine. And it's a beautiful shape. And uh, she's friendly. And how much do you think she weighed? Nah, uh, she would have had a beautiful body, a beautiful 150, well put together. And uh, how old do you think she was? She was about 30. Okay, and she's a black female. Yeah. And tell me where you met her. I met her in, in a, a, a nightclub in New Orleans. Her and her sister was, two, she had her two sisters. Her and two, her, her youngest sister was having a birthday party. Her sister was dancing with this guy on the floor. And when I come in, she, the girl that I was with offered me to dance with me. And while we were dancing, she says, uh, you, want, you want to go riding after this, you know, after this party's over? We walked outside and she looked and seen my car at Lincoln. She said, ooh, you know, that's a beautiful car too. So she had an arm in arm, walking to the car, we got in, stopped at the gas station. We were on the Highway 10 and uh, going toward Slidell. I seen the sign say Little Woods. Mm -hmm. So I cut off, I took off the exit, went, and that sure enough, 
was the road leading into the woods. <laughs> and we went in and parked. So we finally got to where we were going. And it was by uh, a by, uh, river, a little water thing. And the big, uh, they had a machine out there in that little river. Dredging. Dredging. Okay. I grabbed it by the legs and pulled it to the water. Mm -hmm. That's the only one that I ever killed by drowning. Describe the location where right. she's left. Okay, I left her with her head still laid in the water. Her half her body in the underwater and the, her thighs and legs on the bank. Hey, tell me about um, Northern Kentucky, the girl that you met in Columbus. So you meet this girl, <clears throat> I guess you're at a strip bar downtown Columbus. I went on my car. This white girl come out behind the building. You know, I'm in my trunk. She walked over to me. Say, uh, come on, you know, can you take me to Miami? Describe this girl to me. She white, black, what she looked like? She was white, blonde hair, dishwater, dishwater blonde hair, gold. It's short. Short, like shoulder length? Yeah, or? No, 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 early, a little over the ear length. Like a bob? Yeah, like a bob. Okay. And, um, how tall do you think she was? She was about five, seven. How much do you think she weighs? She weighed about 130. She How old do you think she was? Oh, she was about 25. Okay. You mentioned before that, that uh, you said she kind of had like this hippie aura to her. Yeah, she did give you a hippie feeling. I think she was some kind of hippie, yeah. So you go to Cincinnati, you mess around on Vine Street, and then eventually you guys both get in your car and you cross over the, the bridge into Kentucky. Tell me about going into Kentucky. We got to Covington and then we continued through Covington. Mm -hmm. And there was a park that they were having a festival there. And she heard the music and shit off that band in there. And by her being a hippie type, and she, oh, she wanted to get to that. But the police came over and peeped in, the, in our car. We really wanted me to move out of there. So we, instead of going in there, I took her the other way. Right. Round, winding around, they got hills out in Kentucky, and the road winds around the hills. Mm -hmm. I seen a little short road going up mm -hmm. the hill. Mm -hmm. And, and the up top, there was uh, vegetation. Wasn't no houses or nothing. And so I pulled up in the, in, in concealed about the car in, in that little vegetation up there on top of the hill. Mm -hmm. So tell me about this, this road that goes up the hill. What kind of road is it? It was, it was like a dirt road. Okay. It was like dirt. The grass was growing in the middle between two tracks. When I left her up in, the, in that little road up there, on the side of that little road, she was like partially concealed by the vegetation, and I left her there.